When I first heard that the Science and Environmental Center was coming, this larger, more beautiful, more intentional classroom space, it really let me dream big, and now we get to bring a lot of those ideas into the, the new classrooms. I think we probably have the best view on campus. Wow, this is so neat. So much storage space. But walk into your classrooms all Oh, yeah, yeah. This right here is hanging uh, electrical cords. Uh, that's what I want. I've been so jealous of all the power cords in the iLab. I've always wanted the same setup. Over here we have the eye wash and what will be the emergency shower. In the past, we often would want to do some higher level chemistry experiments. You know, they're ready for it academically, intellectually, but in the portable, we don't necessarily have the ventilation. You don't have, you know, these types of safety equipment. So I think it lets us push the envelope a little bit. My first impression of the building was, it was like super bright. There's so many rooms. I feel very privileged and blessed to be able to, to learn in a space like this. Look at those doors, they open up so that you can just have easy access to outside. So when you guys are doing some of those mousetrap car races, when you're doing all of these on egg drop, you can go straight outside and start to do that. The kids are gonna love being able to dig in here and explore the plants and find mushrooms in the winter time and, and flowers in the summer. There's something inspiring about a blank canvas. Being able to move into that new space and imagine the possibilities is really exciting. One, two, three. It means a lot to have an actual place on our combined campuses that is devoted to this idea of environmental citizenship. For my generation, climate change and the environment are probably going to be the most important issues that we're going to face. It is something that we can approach together. The long-term vision is to have all three divisions here, which will allow the students to collaborate, to talk to each other, see what they're working on. And I just think it's going to feel like this exciting hub. When we come to uh, ideas or discussions about sustainability, environmental protection, environmental justice, I'm excited to just try to spark some interest in what every student can do. And it doesn't have to be always science, it can be uh, through arts and literature, through the humanities, through governance. I'm really excited to, to learn. I'm inheriting this world. It's my job to make it livable.